Day two of the Volta Catalunya. Well, if the opening day was tough, this was about to get brutal. No respite at all from the high ground. In fact, Volta 2000, our destination, we went even higher than that. 165.4 kilometers ahead of the field. And the ultimate preparation race for the Grand Tour season about to get underway is with us. One look at the altimetry makes for scary viewing. A series of steps leading to 2,135 meters above sea level. Rarefied air, you had to be brave. Patilli, Costiu, Aspirin, Amasketa, Pronsky, Yul Jensen, Galvin, and Simon Carr from EF Education Easy Post off up the road. Carr and Patilli the best placed of the break and they had a maximum advantage of around about four and a half minutes. While they were picking up intermediate sprints and mountains points along the way, Jumbo Visma doing most of the chasing. The gap did start to ebb the closer we got to our defining test of the day. And this, I'm afraid, is definitely not something we want to see. Trek Sagafredo, having lost Cataldo yesterday, now saying farewell to Elisande on this race. 15 kilometers to go, just over 90 seconds the gap, and the breakaway was starting to shred itself. The two principals, who were only 20 seconds down at the beginning of the day, Carr and Patilli, they went for it. Simon Carr, last man standing. Well, would anyone be tempted to come away from this group? The pace of which was now being set by Bahrain Victorious, working for Mikkel Lander. Bob Poles, Jack Haig doing sensational work. Meanwhile, Xiao and Beda hobbled by a faulty gear exchanger. car just about to be tagged. Well, the likes of Carapaz were struggling, and when he is, you know, it's a tough day. Bardet as well. Well, as the Ecuadorian champion went backwards, the Colombian champion, his teammate, went off the front. Who on earth could possibly follow on? Well, the pace was absolutely infernal, accounting for some big names, as you can see. But Landa, could he pay back his teammates who'd set this pace all along? Almeida, just getting himself back in, must have been fastest man up much of the mountain. Sepp Kuss, who'd set off after Chavez, finally gave up the ghost and dropped back to offer a wheel, perhaps, to Primoz Roglic, the race leader. Chavez himself was chopping down the mountain, getting over the most difficult tests, nudging up to around 14% in some of the corners. He was flying. Lander then rolled the dice to pay back the team. That was the battle plan, but he just could not deliver. There was a lot of firepower up front, including the two principals from yesterday, Evanapol and Roglic. The world champion it was that went for it first, Ciccone on his wheel, trying to rescue something in this race for Truck Sagafredo. Lander also forming part of a very strong quartet as they came within sight of the crowd and of course the forlorn now Chavez. Heading to 500 meters to go, Chavez had been tagged. The question is, who would win what would be a mountain sprint at the last? Evanapol looked nervous but was also prepared to take on the curves. And when the last corner to take us to the plateau approached, he just went a bit too wide. Hugging the hornings at this point, sped out to the middle of the road, cutting in went Ciccone and Roglic. That was a three up sprint for the line. Just holding on. Giulia Ciccone bringing some joy to Trek Sagafredo and immediately afterwards dedicating it to his injured teammates. Ciccone taking it ahead of race leader Primoz Roglic, Ramco Evanapol, staying well placed overall for Ciccone's day it was. Lander in fourth ahead of Adam Yates Almeida, amazing run by him. Our leader remains Primoz Roglic. Get used to that smile. We're climbing again tomorrow. He leads this race by a modest margin of six seconds over both Evanapol and Ciccone, but can land it in fourth place ahead of the brave Almeida, their 27 seconds in arrears. So La Molina beckons, another famous climb. We have a special test along the way as well. This is designed to test. 
the Crueta, the especial climb tomorrow, and then the loop of hell to La Molina. Strap yourselves in. It's going to be special. It always is here in Catalonia. Get ready to go racing again on stage three. <laughs>